Hi everybody, we're going to talk about randomized block design right now. And when we do this in this particular class, we're just reading from printouts, we're not calculating it by hand. I'm sure, I'm sure you're very disappointed about that. Alright, so the question that we're posing here is looking at uh, SAT scores. And we have it broken out by gender, or if you prefer, broken down by sex. <laughs> We can consider this to be a randomized block design. So you've got treatments, you have blocks. The treatments are the kind of questions, the verbal and math. The blocks are males and females. So here are the, or excuse me, here is the printout. Let me scroll that up a little bit. So what we're going to do is test on equality of treatment means first, then on equality of block means, then look at the Tukey HSD uh, print out. So the first thing that we're going to do is looking at the treatments. So essentially what we're doing is saying that mu1, that is the mu for the verbal, is identical to that for the mean mu of the math. And we look at this value here where it's marked PR greater than F. That's your p-value and it's 0.4645 and we know that that's greater than our value for alpha, that is the 0 0.05, so we will fail to reject. That is, there is no difference based on verbal and math. I should say no, no mean difference based on verbal and math. Okay? Then the second one, whoops, sorry about that. The second one is checking on the difference between block that is between males and females. And on this one, you're checking uh, the mean mu for males is identical to mean mu for females. So in this particular case, our p-value is 0 0.0354, which is indeed less than 0 0.05. So we would reject, that is, there is a difference between males and females. Okay. Now, Let's talk about the Tukey test a little bit. Um, when you test more than two means at a time, you can't just do it uh, individually like we were before. You actually have to have a special process, um, and we don't see that. Un it's underneath. It's in the code. You don't have to worry about that. So anyhow, what this does is create um, a 95% confidence interval. So you see the difference. You see the lower value and the upper value for the treatments. And then you look at the, the probability value. Okay? That's P adjusted. And to determine if there's a difference, you look at P adjusted and you see, is it less than your alpha level? And on the Tukey, you always use alpha of 05. Sorry about this. Don't show this message again. Okay, so anyhow, um, we have the 0 0.4645. That's uh, greater than the 05. Therefore, these means are not different from each other. Similarly, for the block, here we have the 03. 537. Uh, you notice in this case, when you just have two means, how it's going to be identical, as you had in the previous part. So in this one, you would say, yes, they are different. Okay? So typically, you've got more of these, more means, more block means. So just look at them one at a time. Okay, use P adjusted. Use alpha equal to 0 0.05. Compare against that. All right? Great.